Hey guys, Coach Travis here with our weekly breakdown for programming. Before we get started with that, make sure that if you haven't completed the duality seating workouts that we get those done, those are, those are due. Uh, the scores should be submitted by this Saturday at 8 p.m. So if you haven't had a chance to get those yet or if you want to retest one, make sure we get that done and submitted by 8 p.m. Uh, Saturday. Also, if you are interested in Jerkapalooza and haven't signed up for that yet, make sure to get signed up. It's going to be an awesome comp that we have in-house. The workouts are amazing. You're going to love them. It's going to be an, a really, really fun event, and I would love for you guys to take part. So getting into this week's programming, we've got a progression from last week's work uh, on our toes to bar. So we have a 10-minute EMOM of seven toes to bar. Now, again, if you don't have toes to bar yet, the goal is that we're going to take the progression that we currently have, do reps of the next progression, working towards getting that, um, that eventually getting that toes to bar. And then we're going to do what we currently have. So the example would be if I have knee raises, hanging knee raises, my next progression would be straight leg raises. So this week we're going to be doing two reps of the straight leg raise immediately into five reps of the hanging knee raise. If you have straight leg raise and are working on getting those toes to bar, then you're going to do two reps of a as close to toes to bar as you can, trying to get those first two, and then immediately into five reps of your straight leg raise. And if you have toes to bar, you're going to be doing seven toes to bar um, every minute on the minute. Going into day two, since I know a lot of folks have been following, you know, day one for us is on Monday. Day two, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even though you don't have to complete them on those days, I know a lot of people are kind of following that track. So on the Tuesday workout in uh, level method, there is uh, wall walks. So knowing that we've got some inverted work there, instead of doing more inverted work for the comp crew programming, we're gonna be using that time to do some stability work for the shoulder. So we're gonna be performing three sets of eight, uh, eight to 10 reps on each arm of a half kneeling bottom up kettlebell press. And there's an image in the programming that you can get um, kind of a, a visual of what that should look like. The goal with these is not to go really fast. The goal is to keep that elbow in front, core tight, slowly pressing up, getting to that full lockout, stabilizing, and then coming right back down to our starting point. This should be a medium to moderate weight, should not be really heavy because you want to be able to keep that kettlebell upside down holding it by the handle. Um, so three, three by eight to 10, um, both sides. Day three, we're gonna get into another EMOM of our GHDs, nine minute EMOM, six to eight reps. I know we did this last week, but I know a lot of folks are also working on their progressions of getting all the way down. So if you're still on that journey of getting all the way to the ground, we're gonna be working on these GHDs for the next few weeks. So try to continue to work on uh, gradually increasing the range there. And then if you have uh, GHDs and we worked in that six to eight range, try to either go faster and get you know a little bit more pop as you come back up. Or if you were working on that six to seven side, try to get that seven to eight side of the EMOM. And then lastly on day four, we've got three, three to four sets of 15 banded chin-ups this time. So we've been doing our banded overhand uh, pronated grip pull-ups. This week we're going to switch that to a chin-up. So we're going to really Try to focus on getting a little bit more bicep involvement. And at the top, make sure we're really squeezing back into the shoulder blades. Uh, Coach Javi talks about that a lot. It's a very, very important piece to getting, um, getting good with pulling movements is not just getting up to the bar, but actually getting the arms pulled back and getting over that bar with your chin. So make sure we're getting that big squeeze in the back. The other benefit of these with the chin-ups is it helps to translate to rope climb. So as we're grabbing it, we're trying to pull that rope up. We want to make sure that we keep our biceps strong. So here's going to help to keep that grip really pulling towards the bar, getting a big squeeze at the top. That is our four days of programming this week. If you have any questions or concerns about anything, please feel free to reach out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. We'll see you in the gym.